We're back. We're talking with Johnny Winters. Danny Thomas is with us tonight and Ralph Nader. Special shows at 8 o'clock tomorrow, right here on NBC. NBC. Can't miss it because of their new symbol they have. Yes, um, there was a little controversy over that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I guess you don't discuss that. Well, we discuss it, yeah. There was a little brouhaha between the Nebraska Educational Television yeah, Network. Yeah, state. Sure. Yeah. And uh, NBC. Were they paid off? I mean, uh, the I don't know how... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder, you know. You read little quips here and there. This is still negotiating. <laughs> yeah, there's a little uh, little legal hassle there. I like the bird, you know. I, uh, I always liked the, the peacock. Uh, the uh, the uh, peacock was very attractive, and, and um, I think you go how many years have they had the peacock? About twenty years, I guess. Yeah, they should still keep that around until it falls over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you have to get rid of the bird. Well, right. Right. <laughs> anyway, you play about twenty different characters on the special tomorrow. Yeah, it's eight to nine, uh, NBC. Um, it's. Um, called uh, Jonathan Winters Presents uh, 200 Years of uh, American Humor. And uh, we go back to uh, the beginning. Uh, it's, uh, as you know, pretty, oh, well, it's impossible to capture 200 years in one hour. Uh, <laughs> certainly money-wise. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I was very happy to do it, uh, just to be doing it. And it was exciting. And uh, it, uh, we go back to the time of George Washington and uh, bring it right up to... Uh, various people who've had uh, an effect on them. And, uh, American uh, yes, yes. Uh, there's Mark Twain, of course, and uh, Buffalo Bill, and um, uh, the Wright brothers who got the little airplane up, and um, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the invention of the telegraph and uh, the telephone. Uh, well, we have a, a clip about a little over two minutes. Why don't we... Uh we show them. It's kind of a teaser for tomorrow. Yes, that be let's all right? look at that. Okay. <laughs> Here's an advanced, advanced preview. Watch the monitors. Here we are over here. Come on, come on, Juniper. Come on. Juniper. Juniper. Well, be another take. Mm. Come on, baby. Come on, Juniper. Come on, Juniper. Casey Jones? That's old 97. The uh, fearless engineer? That's right. Well, boy, it sure is a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> there. Picture my stepdaughter in there. Want to see her? Yeah, I can see her. Look at here. Has the face of a small dog. Yes, she do. <laughs> I say, why are we here today? Just, why are we here today? <laughs> <laughs> Questions and answers. Welcome once again to Doc Skinham's used carriage lot here. Yes, we've got some wonderful used carriages, but they're historical used carriages, folks. You know who rode in this one for only $85.15? Oh, I'm sorry, of course. I mean, there, there was much more. It, it was $98.50 when he rode in it. But of course, now, now it's $85.15. Walter Gorsuch rode in this very carriage. You know what he invented? Think of it, friends. Fingernails for children. <laughs> Them cows out on the far 40, they're all dead. The one good horse we had, it's no good anymore, it just goes, <laughs> that's all. Them chickens look at them and our corn. Them crows are just eating our corn, silly. We need a scarecrow with that outfit. I tell you what, let's come on down here. You stand right out there in the center of the field, mm -hmm. do what I do, just, yeah. just pay attention. You ain't down there at Kennedy now. Stand there like that. Can you do that? Yeah. You, are you mocking me? No, Mom. <laughs> well, if that don't scare him, I don't know what will. You don't look good, boy, pale. Mm. Mom? Don't follow me until after dark. <laughs> Love the, love the politicians. You, ought to have oh, a yeah. lot, you have a lot of fodder this year coming up. Yes, I, uh, I think it's going to be a, an exciting year. I've yeah. never known uh, so many candidates. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll throw Those you some questions. Sure. You play any kind of a candidate you want. Right. Okay. And I'll just, uh, who do you want to be on the first one? Any, any introduction at all? Just uh, Senator uh, Brainerd Bumpfort. <laughs> Talking with Senator Braver, rural, Brainerd, rural, uh, rural Senator Sen Braver Bumpert from the uh, from the country is going to discuss some of the uh, particular 
uh, issues coming up in the upcoming election. Senator, what do you think about our economy? Well, I think, I think one thing about our economy, I think many people are concerned about this, and rightfully so, is, uh, is, is the dollar worth anything anymore? And uh, I think what we've got to do is that uh, there's just one of my many platforms, I don't know how many are going to work, but I, <laughs> as long as you can get two out of 80, what the heck, you know? And, uh, <laughs> I think it's to, uh, number one is to get the interest of them people out there, all those wonderful citizens. I think, yes, uh, I think that they, you, when you go to your bank, as an example, and uh, you cash a check for $152, it would behoove them at the bank to give you $172. <laughs> and this is going to stimulate uh, money, you see. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I would hope that the government would okay that. <laughs> How about, uh, how about the elderly? Yeah. What will you do to help the senior citizens, the elderly? Oh, the boy, I, that's people. always a problem with uh, elderly people. Uh, the fact that they're elderly is a problem. Uh, <laughs> so we know that, Senator. I think but, this, uh, if, you can, if you can somehow ask, I want to I want again try to get them to. I want to get everybody can. I want to get animals if I can get them. Animals. Uh, <laughs> if I can get... Uh, just a few, but at any rate, <laughs> all of you old people out there, I love you. I really do. I have some old friends. Well, what are you going to uh, do for them? Well, I think yes. That uh, let's make it Halloween all year round. Let's put on, <laughs> let's put on some kitty faces. <laughs> uh, it beats nothing, you know. Uh, either that or a trip to Switzerland, yeah. which is going to yeah. cost you yeah. a fortune. How about a southern? How about a southern candidate running? A southern got? candidate. All mm -hmm. right. I'll give you any kind of question at all. Um, I'm uh, Senator Homer Latchbody. Homer, well, Senator yes, Latchbody. Mississippi. Mississippi. Uh, uh, what about the plight of the farmers, Senator Latchbody? Oh, I think the farmer uh, for years, going back to the time this country uh, was founded, mm -hmm. there has always been a problem with weather. Uh, <laughs> Well, we can't tobacco, control that. Tobacco in Virginia, we should be able to control the oh, weather. I know that. <laughs> I've heard of rainmakers in my state. Mm -hmm. uh, they were fakes. <laughs> but, uh, they put the little fork sticks in the ground. Didn't seem to be effective, though, did it? Not in my state. Yes. Uh, but I think, I think that uh, the weather has always been a problem. What we have done, too, is, uh, which I am promoting, are plastic vegetables. Plastic vegetables. Uh, uh, the uh, government has subsidized many farmers across in the 50 states. Now, it's hard to grow cow flour in Alaska, but mm -hmm. as far as I know, but I'm talking about at least the 49. I'm not dismissing Alaska. Of course, <laughs> we understand. Uh, because there's oil coming the, down. They, that's right. I'm not going to pull those fellas up there because everybody needs that. <laughs> uh, but I think that a night. I would promote, and the plastics division, plastics division. Uh, of uh, factories around America, mm -hmm. and I think if we promote all kinds of vegetables, then we won't have to worry about rain or floods or anything mm -hmm. else, and these farmers can sit there and say, see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now, Senator, the, I think that's a good answer, Senator. Probably the most, uh, the overwhelming problem right now is unemployment, and all the candidates have been asked to comment on that. What about the high unemployment? How can we get people back to work? Well. I think you can herd them. Uh, herd them? Yes, uh, that, that, that's a hard word. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Sounds a little cruel. Round them up. Round them up. <laughs> and uh, like an old roundup, and you know, and say, come on, gang. Back to work. I see. Uh, and you'd be surprised. People will jump to it. <laughs> All right. I want to. Do you have a slogan at all, uh, Senator? A slogan? A, yes, a national campaign slogan that. Uh... I have one on my bumper. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, "Let's see, what did I recall?" Uh, uh, <laughs> well, you probably never go America, to the rear of your car. Yes. America, here I come. <laughs> America, here I come. Which uh, a Boy Scout in my neighborhood thought up, and I must talk with him because. <laughs> I love him dearly, but <laughs> That's, that bumper sticks a joke. Yes, not a big one. I want to thank you, Senator, for coming here. We'll take a short break. We're coming right back. Here we are.